Hello and welcome to day 9 of The Sims 3 Volition Hunger Games Season 9. So I actually said yesterday was day 9, but yesterday was day 8. So I just skipped a day. Um, I have figured this out. We will have probably 1, 2, 3, 3 to 4 more videos, depending how long people stay alive. Um, so yes, today is the Eric competition tomorrow will be the Jordan eating or the Jordan eating competition the Jordan competition which involves some eating um and then day 11 shall be the Tom Strait competition and then if people are still alive we're gonna have a full um everybody left alive just like battles off against each other so that's the plan for this so um yeah Okay, so we're just going to watch the people for today for a little while. Um, we might have... Hmm. I'm going to... I don't know. Let's see. Jordan is just here staring at this statue. Creepily. He's going to listen to Eric tell him something. Skinny Eric with the skinny legs. Eric doesn't like to stay up late. What is Erica doing? Erica is swimming with Mummy Kenny. They're having holding breath contests. Our they have like 11 hours to live and she is getting warm and Mummy Kenny is, he's drowning. So he needs to like get out of the pool now. He is going to get out of the pool now, it looks like, maybe. He's going to get out. He's going the wrong way though and he will be trapped in a room. So that's not the best way to get out of the pool, Mummy Kenny. Erica won and she has 10 hours to live still. She is also getting out of the pool the wrong way. And Mummy Kenny is now starving. And Erica is drowning. So these guys are both... No, Mommy Kenny wasn't drowning? No, he is. So they're both drowning on this side of the pool, which is the wrong side of the pool to be on. Because um, they're just going to be drowning on their way out. And they're going to be stuck. This is not good for them. Not at all. Oh. Eric's going to go to sleep. Jasmine's going to go watch TV. Okay, he improved his athletic skill. Um, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go do some setup for the party, and I will be right back. So, I am back, and I have come back with the Forest Nymph. Um, this is, like I said, Eric Montano's competition. It is a, like a party. Like, we're in like a party room. There's some gobo lights, and some rotating lights, and a uh, bar, and karaoke machine, and snow cone maker. And pretty much just kind of like a party room. And the point of this competition is to become the best friends with the forest nymph by the end. He is looking for his berries, and if you can become his friend, he will give you the berries. So, um, he loves the outdoors, he's a gatherer, he's irresistible so that everyone will want to talk to him. He's eco-friendly, and he has a green thumb. And so that's kind of what the forest nymph is into. Um, this is a reference to, like, the most ridiculous, mind-blowingly, like, what did I just watch Vine YouTube video of like all time ever. It's called, if you just like look up Forest Nymph, you'll find it. Anyways, this is the Forest Nymph, um, as good as I could make him anyways. And he is here and um, this is for you, Eric. He still cannot find his berries. So anyways, we're gonna, I'm gonna teleport everyone in here and we're gonna have a crazy party and we're gonna see, um, and we're gonna see who he likes the best at the end of the day. So, be right back. Okay, so I don't know what is happening here, but on my bar, I saw Kenny Schwartz. And I'm like, why is Kenny Schwartz on my bar? So, I click on him to find where he is in this town. He is inside this house right here. What is this? What is this place? He's inside the, like, a karaoke bar or something like that. Um, Kenny Schwartz's with a Tom Strait, a Nick Sands... Um, some girl named Aisha Ansari and Eric Montano, who is wearing this outfit. Why is Eric wearing this outfit? <laughs> I don't know what is happening here, but this is like amazing. What? And Kenny is not a mummy. I just, I just don't even, I don't even understand. So I, I just, I don't know why Kenny is here on my bar. He's not a controllable sim. This is part of, like, the portraits. You can just have, like, random town members be part of your, like, portrait. I don't know how he got on there. Anyways, the point is, the point is, we get to see Nick Sands, Tom Strait, and Kenny, and then Eric dressed like this for 
what reason? I don't know why Eric is dressed like this, but it's just, it's all kind of amazing. Anyways, I just, what is Kenny doing? They're watching a thing. A thing. Maybe Eric is supposed to be like a magician. I don't, I just don't even know. I, they're all clapping at like nothing. And there is another Tom straight here and I'm here too? What is this, Cylons? What are we, Cylons? Oh my gosh. I think these are the Cylons and I think I'm a Cylon and I think Tom, Tom is 100% a Cylon because there are two Tom straights here. I see this and this is happening. So, um, so I think these are the Cylons. I think Eric Montano is a Cylon. And Tom is a Cylon, and Kenny is apparently a Cylon and a mummy, and um, and and I might be a Cylon. I don't know where I went, but I'm a Cylon probably too. And um, Nick Sands is a Cylon probably, um, or a ghost. I don't know. Here I am being me here. What is Tom doing on stage? Oh, Tom is dressed up. I mean, I think we have to watch this. Tom's a magician. I did not set this up. Tom just pulled a magic wand out of his ear. And he's uh, performing some tricks for us. Eric is really into it. Weird Cylon magic show. Okay. I, I just... What is happening? This is great. He's really good. I know the party's going on, but we're we're just gonna watch this. Cause nothing they could do at the party would be as amusing as this. Oh my gosh, Tom's gonna stab her. And she's alive! That's great! Tom's apparently a very good magician. Wow! Well, this was something. This was something for sure. A real treat. Tom, did you enjoy watching yourself go on stage? He's not enjoying Kenny. I mean, is someone else going now? I don't I don't really care who this person is. Maybe we'll come back and check this out really quick. We're going to see how Forest Nymph is doing over here. And maybe we'll come back and see Kenny Schwarz again. Um, <laughs> Forest Nymph and um, Jasmine are singing songs together. And people don't really seem to be enjoying it. Everyone is saying boo to them. I just... I don't think everyone's even here. Okay, so we're just missing Eric. Okay. Forrest Nymph doesn't like anyone, though. He hasn't made any friends at all. This is, like, really lame compared to this party that Kenny's having. Over here. Like, this weird magic show thing. With Nick Sands and, and Eric 
and both of the Tom Straits and the Kenny and this girl. I just, it's like a Cylon party. And everyone's so happy. Like, I don't even. I don't even. Why are there two Tom Straits? <laughs> now Nick Sands is going to sing some karaoke for us. really bad. Magician Tom Strait is going to make some drinks. What an amazing place this place is. Okay, Forest Nymph is creeped out because Jasmine Mankis did something to him. So maybe I should come back over here and watch this some more again with our non Cylon Sims. Or maybe we are Cylons. I mean, I don't know. I We must be. I mean, at least I am in Nick Sands's and Eric Montano here. Skinny Eric is a Cylon. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what happened. Forest Nymph, you don't get to sleep. Okay. Everybody's eating snow cones because I put a snow cone machine in here. So that's what everyone's doing in here. Eric, you're too thin. Um, looks like Jasmine and maybe Forest Nymph for getting along the best. Now Skinny Eric's gonna do some karaoke. What else is going on here? It's now 12 a.m. So I feel like maybe this place should be like slowing down with all the Cylons in it. And I mean, how did Kenny become not a mummy? I mean, maybe it's just Kenny who isn't a mummy. I don't understand. One of the Toms is gone now. Magician Tom is gone. Um, we just have other Tom here. Okay, well, I, I am done with this then. I don't know why this Kenny is on my bar. I don't know how he got here. Whoa, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. He was acting like a zombie. Did you see him walking? So he still walks like a mummy, but he's not a mummy? I don't... He he doesn't... He walks like a mummy, but he isn't a mummy. And I just... Like, I thought it was amazing that Eric was dressed like this, and then Tom comes in and is like a magician, and I just... I just... I don't even know. Okay. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm done with that little weird, weird Cylon side story. And we are back to everybody booing Eric. Where's Forest Nymph? Forest Nymph, where are you? Oh, he's over in the crowd. Okay, Forest Nymph is not making friends with people, apparently. Okay. Apparently, Forest Nymph and Jasmine are just getting along, and nobody is being friendly with Forest Nymph. Nobody is helping him find his berries. Um, we're going to start rude things get you kicked out. Oh my gosh, Jasmine and Forest Nymph are flirting. They're attracted to each other. Oh, and, and Erica is attracted to Forest Nymph. And, um... And Erica just peed her pants because... Okay, so rude things are going to get you kicked out. So, Erica peeing your pants is rude. Um, Jordan sleeping when the forest nymph is still looking for his berries is rude. Mm. 
Oh, look, she's she's consoling herself with the forest nymph. And he's just super attracted to her. And Eric is singing bad karaoke. I think Jasmine just is gonna win this because nobody really wants to hang out with Forest Nymph. They all think he's a little weird and creepy and they don't wanna hang out with him. And and I just He's thinking about how hot Jasmine is. He's going to drink some juice. Eric is singing bad karaoke. Oh, and they're dancing to it, though. That's kind of a party here. Well, Jasmine, man kiss. I just... Jasmine is quite the character. I mean... Jasmine makes makes friends. She has an ex-boyfriend. She is romantically involved with Jordan. She's friends with Mummy Kenny. She dances. She makes friends with the nymph. I mean, it's just... She is quite the character. <laughs> They're talking about recycling together. These two are just buddies. Okay, so... So this competition is now over. Um, it's, is there anybody that the forest nymph does not like? Um, I suppose, like, I, I, I don't really see any losers here. Um, and the two people he dislikes the most are Erica, but the, they, they don't have any negatives. So nobody was mean to the forest nymph. So. I suppose we will let everybody go. Maybe because nobody participated with the forest nymph, we just see who all can survive. Maybe that's what. And Jasmine is the only one who is friends with the forest nymph. So, Jasmine, we will give you berries. That is, that's the only reward for this. Um, it wasn't an item off your list, actually. I have written down berries. That is what you get. So, Jasmine, let's go find some berries. We're going to find you some berries, Jasmine. I still haven't found my berries. That is what he would say. So you're going to shop for some groceries. And then we're going to come back here. And um, everybody else. Everybody. Will be um, doing this competition. So Jordan. You're sleeping right now. But you're going to come here. Oh no! Okay, so what what do we have? Do we have any berries? Um, I have not seen any berries. Do, I don't even know if I have any. Oh, a buzzberry! Here's a buzzberry. Is it the only berry we have? No blueberries? Oh man. Okay, so I don't have any of that. I do have an orange, but I found this! Um... And I don't have any berries, but I found this. And uh, we'll just, we'll give you another buzzberry. Oh no, we'll only give you two. Two buzzberries and an orange. Okay, Jasmine, those are your rewards. And um, Jordan, we're going to teleport you here. Mummy Kenny. Because you guys are so antisocial and you refuse to be friends with the forest nymph. Um, forest nymph will be... He will be moving out. He's going to move somewhere else. Maybe he can join the Cylons at their next party. Um, just forest nymph. I'm sorry. We're going to have to kick you out, friend. Whoever the camera and the the gardening book goes to, we're going to have to delete them. Okay, well, I guess those two are going to go to sleep. So, someone gets a free pass because I wasn't paying attention. So, we'll just let them sleep there. Mummy Kenny, however, and Erica. Erica, you have to come here. What's Mummy Kenny going to go do? He's going to go 
Mommy, Kenny, you're gonna go play in the sprinkler and that's gonna be fine for you. You have to plan the sprinkler until they get out of bed. Um, Erica, what are you going to go do? You don't get to wake her up. Oh, she's awake? Well, we're just going to call her done then. And Jordan gets to sleep, but she doesn't. And Jordan will have to be the one that puts up the bed. That's arbitrarily what I've decided. Um... Erica? Is going to go and play with the cow plant. But the cow plant can never eat her because it is not hungry. So this was a failed experiment here. Um, we will teleport you here. She has a nice tan, I think. Erica is looking very nice and tan. When Jordan gets up, this is probably not going to kill anyone because... Because I don't think this bed will kill Jordan. Okay, so I think everybody has survived. Oh, Eric. Eric, we, did we not stick you in here? Eric, you have to come here and you have to do this too. Oh, Eric has chosen the bathroom. Will he flush the toilet? Will skinny Eric flush the toilet with his four skill and handiness? He has no items. He has a nameless book and a sunsbane parasol. He is flushing the toilet. Um, it did not appear to go in front of the TV, so that's good. He is repairing it pretty quickly. He's doing a great job. I mean, he survived this. He survived it. Okay, so we're going to delete that TV. And we're going to teleport you here. Also, we're going to delete that toilet. Um, okay, so Eric survived. Jordan, Lynn, what are you doing? Stop that, Jordan. You need to go and close the bed, Jordan. And we're going to delete that camera he got. And that book he got about gardening. And his diploma, since that's not really helpful at all. Jordan's failing to close the bed. Um, we'll go ahead and have Jasmine try to close it since we did no 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 not Jasmine is Jasmine the one I teleported in there and I shouldn't have oh whoops Jasmine won she should never have been in there I'm glad I didn't like accidentally kill her or anything then that would have been bad oh she's eating the buzzle berry she found the berries and she's eating them and now she feels herb nausea too many herbs made Jasmine nauseous the buzzberry I don't know what a buzzberry is she and Eric are... She's boasting about her good looks to him. He agrees. Now, um... He's listening to her talk about his sleep deprivation. Now she's talking about the heat. They're attracted to each other. Um... Mommy Kenny, I said I was going to let you go. And I meant to, I forgot to let you go. Um, Jordan is destroying things. One, two, three, four, five. Where's the fifth person? Oh, in bed. Okay. I'm like, I think we're sure a person. Anyways, that was the competition. Oh, what is she doing? Are they flirting now? No, he's consoling her being consoled. Oh, now he's going to flirtatiously joke with her, though. So, now Jasmine is being flirty with someone else. Oh, and Jordan is in the room! <gasps> oh, well, he interrupted their flirtatious behaviors. He interrupted them. And now Jordan is growling at her. 
She's slapping him with a newspaper again because this is what happens when he growls at her. And then Mummy Kenny has to go to the bathroom. He's like, all of you get out of the bathroom. Oh no, he's laughing. He's laughing at Jordan. Mm, what's Eric want? Eric wants to use the tub. And nobody cares that Jasmine's in here, really, because she's like their girlfriends or their please, something, please. you know? Jasmine's making fun with the cat. That's what she does. Something just happened. Cat's like freaking out. What's Erica doing? Erica's asleep. Okay. Jasmine is just standing here. Kenny is going to swim in the pool. Jordan is. He's picking up the trash can. Thank you, Jordan, because it was probably you who knocked it over whenever you were a werewolf. Oh, that's what that no noise was. Oh, so he's going to mastermind his plot to Jasmine. Will she be okay with it? Probably not, because she's not evil. Oh, she was okay with it, though. Jordan wants to go jump on the trampoline. Oh my gosh, what a weird day. That was just... Oh, and look, now Kenny's gone from my bar. He's just gone now. I just... I just don't even understand what just happened. I know it surely has to do with one of my mods, like the bar and everything. Like, it's, it's got to do with one of my mods, I'm sure. But, but what the heck just happened? That was so weird. And now Kenny's gone. I just... I mean, the other Kenny. Not this Kenny, but like the weird the normal Kenny that showed up that still was acting like a mummy but wasn't a mummy and then there was like magician uh, Eric and magician Tom and Cylon Tom and Cylon Morgan and like it was just it was so weird okay anyway so I think we're gonna go and call this a day this seems like it was a pretty long day um, not because that was like really long but because I got like really distracted by that weirdness that was happening um and nobody died, but like I said, we have two more days left, and if nobody dies in the next two days, we will, um, we will, ah, oh no, I wrote on my desk, um, if nobody dies, we will do a, the final competition will just be like roulette of death, just like roulette until people are dead, um, that is my plan, so anyways, people will die eventually, um, the next one is probably going to be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, see you guys tomorrow.